Hello students, welcome to RD Chemistry. In this video, I'll explain types of solid and crystal system. And we shall solve some problems also. Students, we all know that solids have definite shape and the volume. The particles in solids are held together by strong forces. They have high density. They cannot be compressed easily. They are very rigid and uh, they have got definite shape and the volume. These solids are broadly classified into crystalline solids and the amorphous solids based on the arrangement of the constituent particles present. Now, what are the constituent particles? Constituent particles can be atoms, they can be molecules or they can be ions. So, these are the constituent particles. So, what are the features of the crystalline solids? Crystalline solids have got definite geometrical shape. They have got sharp melting point and it is a long range order and they are anisotropic in nature. When cut with a knife, it splits into two pieces having smooth surface. What are the features of the amorphous solids? They have got irregular shape and it melts over a range of temperature. And these are short range order. They are isotropic in nature and with a cut with a knife, it splits into two pieces with the rough surfaces. Okay, so these are the differences between crystallines and amorphous solids. Further solids are, crystalline solids are classified into molecular solids, ionic solids, metallic solids and covalent solids. And this classification depends on the type of the intermolecular forces. Molecular forces or bonding can be covalent, metallic, electrostatic or ionic or it is the van der Waals force of attraction. Let us see the first one, molecular solid. Under molecular solid, there are three types, non-polar molecules, polar molecules and hydrogen bonded molecules. So in all these cases, what are the constituent particles? These are the molecules present. In case of non-polar, the force of attraction is the dispersion forces or London forces. Remember the example, noble gas are the example, carbon dioxide is the example, or hydrogen, iodine, carbon tetrachloride. Okay. In case of polar molecules, there is a dipole-dipole interaction. Okay. Examples are hydrochloric acid and sulfur dioxide. We have to consider the solid state in all these cases. Hydrogen bonded molecule, the force of attraction is hydrogen bonding and example is a water molecule. Okay, so you have to remember the examples, type of the bonding and the constituent particle. Second one is the ionic solids. So what are the constituent particles? Ion, cations and anions. So there is an ionic bond. The force of attraction between the positive and negative charges is called the electrostatic force of attraction or coulombic force of attraction. Example. Sodium chloride, magnesium oxide, zinc sulfide, calcium chloride, ionic compounds. Next one is the metallic solids. In case of metallic solid, what is the constituent particle? It is a positive kernel and the mobile electron. What is this? We have got nuclear. Around the nuclear, there are many electrons are there. In the outermost electron, valence electron, electrons are free. They can move around anywhere in the crystal lattice. So therefore, there is a positive kernel and mobile electron, valence electrons moving around. So the bond is known as the metallic bonding between the kernels. What are the examples? Metals are the example, iron, copper, silver, magnesium, all those things. Okay. Next one, covalent solids are network solid. And here, constant particles are the atoms. What is the bonding present? Covalent bonding is present. Either it is a sigma bond or it is a pi bond. There are two types of covalent bond. Example, silicon dioxide looks like molecule, but silicon dioxide has got the giant structure. Okay, so silicon dioxide repeat n times, so it is a large structure. Quartz. Okay, then silica carbide, diamond. Diamond is made of a carbon. Graphite is also made of a carbon. Okay, in case of diamond, carbon is a sp3 hybridized. In case of graphite, it is a sp2 hybridized. 
okay now here quartz when i say it is a crystalline form of the silicon dioxide okay right now what is the unit cell and the crystal lattice let us see what is the crystal lattice it's a regular three dimensional arrangement of the constituent particles in a crystal is called as the crystal lattice it is a 3d structure the constituent particles can be atoms ion molecules of a solid crystal represented as the points which are known as the crystal points or the crystal lattice sites now what is this unit cell unit cell is the smallest repeating pattern in the entire crystal okay is the smallest part in the entire crystal structure now in unit cell atoms ions molecules represent as the small spheres or the points okay now for the unit cells there are different length in terms of a b c and the three axes are got okay right and there is a angle between them in terms of alpha beta gamma clear there are altogether seven types of unit cells and these are also called as the primitive unit cells and they are angles and the lengths are given as below we have got seven type we have got cubic tetragonal orthorhombic rhombohedral rhombohedral is also called as the trigonal type then hexagonal monoclinic triclinic their angles are given and lengths are also given remember cubic is the most ordered system because this is the most symmetric one this is the most symmetrical one correct a is equal to b is equal to c alpha beta gamma all are 90 degree so you remember okay the cubic is the most symmetric one example remember okay we take tables of sodium chloride potassium chloride diamond copper and silver see the last one it is the most disordered one most disordered one and most unsymmetric correct a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha beta gamma not equal to each other not equal to 90 degree remember one example we take potassium dichromate and copper sulfate which is blue in color okay then remember rhombic sulfur rhombic sulfur we are studying in p block element in the second year okay class number 12 rhombic sulfur remember rhombic sulfur is orthorhombic it also has got the shape of the matchbox remember the matchbox type okay in the case of matchbox all the three axes are not same a is not equal to b not equal to c but they are perpendicular to each other remember this one also remember graphite graphite is studied you know diamond and graphite diamond is a cubic type graphite is which one hexagonal remember when a carbon atoms are in the graphite is hexagonal arranged correct so remember a is equal to b but not equal to c alpha beta 90 degree but gamma is equal to 120 degree clear also remember monoclinic sulfur sulfur you are going to study in p block element rhombic sulfur monoclinic sulfur see here monoclinic monoclinic name a is not equal to b not equal to c alpha gamma 90 degree beta not equal to 90 degree so some of the common example you have to remember along with their crystal system name lengths and the angles see here there are seven types of unit cell but there are altogether 14 variation and these 14 variation are called the bravais lattices that means each of them one of them can have simple unit cell body centered unit cell face centered unit cell or edge centered so altogether it makes 14 types and they are called the bravais lattices now let us see the cubic unit cells okay you are taking the simple cubic unit system the first one is called the primitive also called the simple cubic unit cell sc here lattice points are there only in the corners how many corners are there eight corners are there remember eight corners are there what is the contribution each corner particle each corner particle can contribute 1 by 8 next one face centered cubic lattice fcc face centered cube or cubic close packing structure we study in packings okay here there are lattice points at the center of the each face how many faces are there there are six faces are there each face is okay contributing like 1 by 1 by 2 okay 1 by 2 one face is shared by two unit cells how many corner particles are there corner particles eight are there eight corner particle and each corner particle contributes 1 by 8 okay next one is the body centered cubic lattice bcc body centered cubic structure 
there are points in the center of the body center of the body can give only one particle one center particle its contribution is 1 into 1 okay entirely one unit belongs to the unit cell and addition to the corner particle how many corner particles eight corner particle and for the corner particle what is the contribution it is 1 by 8 each particle contributes 1 by 8 okay right now let us see the contribution of the corner particle face center particle towards the unit cell corner particle of a contributions 1 by 8 face particle is 1 by 2 if there is a edge center atom what is edge center atom suppose there is a cube like this okay suppose there is a cube like this this is known as the edge this is not the edge and this is the edge center suppose there is a particle here this particle this edge is shared by actually four unit cell therefore contribution of this one is 1 by 4 so edge particle is 1 by 4 and body centered belongs to the entire unit cell one now let us calculate the number of particle per unit cell in the case of simple cubic unit cell corner particles only are there corner particles 80 number and each one contributes 1 by 8 so therefore there is one particle which is called as the z particle in the case of body center particle corner particles 8 into contributions 1 by 8 also in the body center one particle is the center of the body into one so total is equal to particles per unit cell here face center particle 8 corner particles are there into 1 by 8 plus there are six faces each face okay contributes like 1 by 2 so all together 1 plus 3 is equal to four particle per unit cell this must remember must be remember z is equal to 4 z is equal to 2 and z is equal to 1 okay clear now we'll solve some problem total number of lattice arrangement in the different crystal system how many types of crystal systems are there seven types of crystal systems are there how many variations are there 14 variations are there and these 14 variations are called the bravais lattices correct they what is the answer answer is option number 2 14 bravais lattices all together that is the total number of lattice arrangements clear question number 2 contribution of the particle at the edge center of the particular unit cell one edge is shared by four unit cell therefore contribution of the each edge particle is 1 by 4 Fourth one is the answer. Question number three. In FCC, face center cubic unit cell, it is the unit cell is shared equally by how many unit cells? Now, when you consider one FCC, there are six faces. So, along the six faces, there can be six units other cells, right? The answer is option number three. They are shared by altogether six unit cell around it. Question number four. Which of the following statement about this amorphous solid is incorrect? They melt over a range of temperature is correct. They are anisotropic, which is wrong. Amorphous solids are isotropic in nature. Their physical properties remain the same. Whatever be the measure of measurement in any direction, then there is no orderly arrangement is correct. and they are rigid and incompressible it is also correct okay so in correct statement is uh, anisotropic anisotropic only for crystalline solids question number 5 in the face centered cubic lattice unit cell is uh, equally shared by how many unit cell it is fcc okay around fcc fcc have got six faces and this question is repeated asked in kct 2018 so answer is uh, option number 1 here okay so there are six faces around six faces there are six unit cells okay question number 6 unit cell with the crystallographic dimensions a b c not equal to each other alpha and gamma 90 degrees beta not equal to 90 degrees what is orthorhombic orthorhombic remember it is like a match box okay it is match box type so al a not equal to b not equal to c here and alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma which is equal to 90 degrees this you have to remember fine what is triclinic in case of triclinic a is not equal to b not equal to c the most disordered one most unsymmetric one okay whereas alpha beta gamma not equal to each other and not even equal to the 90 degrees okay what is tetragonal tetragonal Is a is equal to b but not equal to c. 
whereas alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma all equal to 90 degrees monoclinic remember i told you monoclinic sulfur you have to remember and uh, whatever in the given in the question is belongs to the monoclinic sulfur clear right question number 7 the most which of the following crystal are the unit cell here abc not equal to each other alpha beta gamma not equal to each other 90 degrees the most unsymmetry the most disordered one the most disordered one is which one triclinic okay and i told you to remember one of the example for triclinic that is the potassium dichromate is the example okay third one is yans question number 8 which of the following is a molecular crystal rock salt is sodium plus na plus cl minus so it is ionic compound quartz is the silicon dioxide type but it is not molecule repeating n times so it is a giant structure it is a covalent molecular structure covalent structure dry ic is solid carbon dioxide so carbon exist independently diamond is made up of carbon and carbon has got giant structure okay three dimension giant structure so answer is option number 3 dry ice question number 9 which of the following is a covalent crystal rock salt is a sodium chloride it is a ionic type ic is a h2o so it is a polar molecular solid polar molecule quartz is silicon dioxide so repeat n times so it is a network solid giant structure or covalent crystal it is next one the dry ice dry ice nothing but solid carbon dioxide so it is a molecular crystal okay so what is the answer answer is option number 3 clear question number 10 what is a dry ice very simple question dry ice is a solid carbon dioxide okay third one is the answer Question number eleven. Which of the following is a network solid, a giant structure, or the covalent structure? Sodium chloride NaCl. So it is the ionic type. Ice H2O. It is a molecular. Okay. So it is a molecular hydrogen bonded type. Iodine. It is a non-polar molecule. It is a non-polar molecule. Whereas what is this? It looks like AN. It is actually AlN. Aluminium nitride. it is the aluminum nitride okay nitride and it is a network crystalline solid clear answer is the fourth one like the videos share the videos and please do subscribe rd chemistry also click the bell icon for notifications thank you for watching